Hi, it's Ashan from Inner Space Explorers. Um, I got a question from uh, one of my patrons, uh, Yen. She asked me if we could talk a little bit about lifting dive gear, how to probably get doubles on, how to how to carry them, and so on and so on. And actually, that's a good question. And um, you met Aaron before, <laughs> and Nala. <laughs> I introduced uh, the, the whole the whole team's here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Um, I see a quarter. <laughs> no. Um, yeah, and Aaron is, is uh, very much into fitness, very much into lifting weights, so I thought it's a good idea to bring him in this video again. This time not as an interviewer, but uh, probably talk a little bit about proper lifting techniques and so on. So, um, if, if I got the question correct, it was not only of how to... Um, how to lift these things but also how to get into them in a proper way like get them on the back properly and um, yeah let's have a look at that first of all it really depends on your body size and your strengths obviously so the rule of thumb we always had in our training was if you can't handle the gear that you want to dive with you probably shouldn't dive it um, but that obviously um, goes a bit to the extreme so if, if uh, somebody's like one meter and 50 and uh, cannot lift more than I don't know 25 kilos you shouldn't probably dive a double 20 but a double 12 being like the universal workhorse of technical diving should basically be doable for most yeah, for most I, people I, I think so yeah for most he healthy healthy ish people yeah, yeah. so should be doable. then it comes down what this video is about then it's about technique so Obviously the best way to put it on and you'll realize there's no backplate on this. So it's I mean <laughs> I guess everybody knows how to get in a backplate and out of it um, So the thing is more how to get it in the position To get it on so no matter if you have one of these um, Retirement letters where you can put them on you've probably seen these where people build like stands where they can put it on or um, if you uh, put it in the, on, on, the, on the trunk of your of your truck or whatever. Yeah. Um, so obviously you want to have it at a certain height where you can sit down and then go into the back plate. Um, so how do you get it on there? So a lot of people that I see are just lifting in a wrong way. Me being an old fart and doing this wrong for the last 40 years, I'll just give a demonstration of what I do and then you actually can yeah. rip me apart on that. <laughs> So what I always tend to do is I just got these, these, these dollars like on the side and I just lifted them like that, which is comfortable for me because even if I have my arms stretched out, they don't touch the bottom so I can easily carry them. But I mean, I have the weight on one side, which I can feel in my back and actually takes my back to the side. Yeah. So when I'm going stairs or anything, what I tend to do lately, being old, I just grab them like on the valve and then on the other side like this and that way I can have a straight back and I have the weight distributed nicely on the right and on the left side and it's way more comfortable to carry them and also like to lift them up on a um, on a table or something yeah any, any yeah so I mean on that? Uh, so yeah I mean with your doubles there yeah you'll oftentimes you will see that the, a lot of people will be carrying them simply like this and that's honestly it's not the worst way to carry it so long as you have the 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 upper body strength to to be able to to do that in a in a safe manner um i i, I honestly don't mind that issue and in fact i normally prefer in fact if you've got a second set of doubles in your other hand that evens out the load <laughs> so if you have the strength there there's by by, by all means like uh, you have to work within your own limits is the big thing uh any it's anything with lifting i mean you you have to do what's comfortable for you. So what's comfortable for me is not going to be what's comfortable for Arkham, vice versa. So <laughs> the big thing is always, I mean, it's li lift easy, you know, lift, lift easy, lift smart. Uh, so the big, th the big issue with what you did there, I mean, it's a, really the best way to carry it is, is, is like that. Um, the only thing, I mean, with lifting, you always want to get a low center of gravity you always want to lift with the legs you don't want to lift with the back so yeah that's probably what what is my biggest yeah yeah i mean that's always... years and years and years of, of doing it doing it a certain way i mean yeah. um so so you want to get low you want to really keep that that back neutral in a neutral position um so straight but you don't need to force it and then from there it's up 
And so whatever's comfortable for, for you, but I mean, this for most people should be very capable. Um, it should be very doable. And that is always gonna be the best way to, to transport your doubles uh, or to just to lift them. So say you need to get them onto the back of your trunk or, or something to get them into a position where you can get your gear on simply like this. And then obviously uh, assemble them there because I mean, I see a lot of people like assembling them on the ground and then, uh, and then lifting them up somewhere, which obviously adds plenty of weight. There's a lot of like another 10 kilos uh, easily on their lights and back plate and the wing and probably a evade or something like that. Um, so um, the, the best thing is to get the pure doubles somewhere, then assemble them, and then take them from there. And I mean, as soon as you have them on the back, um, Th then it should the be issue is basically gone because then the, the weight's evenly distributed. You have the straps; it's basically like a rucksack, so it's Complete. pretty good. And then you probably just need somebody to help you standing up. Completely. And I mean, if you don't have the, the trunk of a car to work with, or you don't have something that you can that you can do like that. I mean, if you if you get your gear on on the ground against a wall, but then have your buddy, you know, with a, with a strong grip being able to pull you up. I mean, for a lot of people, that's that's very doable. Uh, yeah. Once again, I mean, you need to know what works for you and your your partner. I mean, um, if, yeah. if, if you aren't so strong, then yeah, I mean, you need to find ways to make it work for you. So, so using your car trunk and, and various things is always gonna make it easier. Yeah, and obviously it's, it's never wrong to ask for help, um, especially like being on a dive boat or uh, something like that, there's always somebody with uh, greater body strength than you that can uh, and, help you out. And also for, I mean, all of the, the, the younger alpha males out there, I mean, I, <laughs> I certainly, you know, can, can also be accused of this as well. I mean, just be smart about it. I mean, you don't have to, you don't have to be the strongest guy and show off in front of everyone. Just <laughs> if there's people there that can help you, ask for help. I mean, the, the worst thing you want to do is, is, is Injure your back or something stupid from yeah. from lifting something poorly. It's Have them impress you with your strengths and then impress them with your skills on the wall. <laughs> That's it. So yeah, yeah. Right. Talking about handling tanks, uh, I probably mentioned that in another video at some point. Talking about stages, I see just recently I saw somebody again. People tend to use this convenient handle on the stages, and it always makes me freak out because what happens is the, the more often you do that, actually they start to curve out because you pull them out out here. And then that's a huge entanglement thing underwater. You suddenly have this thing here, and especially when you dive more stages, hoses from regulators get underneath. I mean, sometimes even second stages, which is the pain in the butt. So they have to be straight and you carry your, um, your tanks like this. If it's a heavy one and you need a second hand, then grab them like this, but never carry them on the strap itself. All right. Um, anything else? Uh, I mean, you know, that's, I think, most mostly it with it. The, the, the biggest thing is, is you need to know what, what you're going to be comfortable with. Um, everyone has has their own level of strength. Um, so just work within your limits and and really just, just lift smart, not hard, you know. Really use the legs, try to keep your back neutral. That's the biggest thing is, is just don't, try not to round that back whenever you're lifting. And, and that applies to anything. So, yeah. um, you know, you should should just have a, a, a solid base of, of lifting and, and from there it shouldn't be too much of an issue. All right, Aaron, thank you very much. No worries, um, man. I hope that answered the question. If you have more questions, no matter if on this topic or something else, please comment in the comment section. Check out the Patreon site. That's where we normally discuss things in detail. As I mentioned, the, the question that we just answered also came from there. And yeah, I uh, would appreciate if you give us a like and uh, consider subscribing and I'll see you next video. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Hi, it's Achim from American Runabout. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'd get you in trouble. <laughs> yeah.